inserting images and text into a course lab course. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is um, add a logo and some text to our title page. So here we are on our title page. Um, it's quite straightforward to, to add images or text. So the first thing we'll do, we'll look at inserting a picture from a file. Um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to insert a logo. So I don't really need that, so I can delete that, select and delete it. Uh, I'm going to choose a, an image for a logo. Let's have a look what we've got here. Perfect. So we can add this. And we can also resize our images if we want just by dragging it around so it's quite straightforward. Um, and adding text we can just double click on something there. So this is the space shuttle. and we can change it to look a lot like Microsoft Word in that you can change text and colors and things like that so let's make this I don't know green okay so there we go you can also add more text by clicking on the text box and we'll call this the blast off function okay and if you want to you can also view it to see what it looked like it's live and there you go great that's simply how to add a logo and some text to your title page you can also do exactly the same on your slides so in here actually in here if I want to insert a logo I'd go to the master slide and then I can delete that and again I could insert that NASA logo if I wanted to um, let's find it again and again let's make that a little bit smaller so it'll fit that'll be fine up there uh, I might also want to add an image of a rocket somewhere into my template. Yeah, I don't think I need it as large as that. Resize. That looks good. Um, that's it. So now we can move on to our slides. Another important thing to note here is that you can actually copy and paste from documents straight into Course Lab. Uh, one tip though, what I tend to do is I'll copy it and I'll paste it into notepad first and what this does it gets rid of any formatting that word would take across sometimes it has funny results so what I tend to do is put it into notepad before I then copy it into course lab itself and once you're in there you can double click it uh, and you can edit inside of here so you can do the layout properly and stuff like that so it's quite good um, let's just sort this out this could be a bulleted list if we want just select this and if I want to I'll select that put it as a bullet click OK. Now I can manoeuvre it around the screen and make it larger stuff like that. So I can create something pretty quick by just a, a few clicks. That's my first slide. 